Hey guys, this is Sia One Heart Able. Oh, that's the Junior Adventures fanfare. Anyway, hey guys, this is Sia One Heart Able playing. Let's explore the jungle with Buzzing and Alex Bug. Wow, that's a nice intro. And here's Buzzy. Hi! I'm Buzzy the Knowledge Bug. Hi. Are you ready to explore the jungle? Yeah, there I am ready for some here, to explore all from some different awesome parts of the world. Parts of the, the Amazon area parts of includes the, jungle. the jungles of South and Central America. It holds many neat things, like toucans and monkeys and even blue frogs. The African area has elephants and electric catfish and chameleons. Yes. In the Asian I like these area, animals. there are dragons and spitting fish. Wow. And even a plant that eats ah. bugs. Why, there are just hundreds of things to see and do. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. Let's go now. All right. So, um, I really like this game. And, um, it's one of my all-time, um, all-time favorite humongous entertainment games and um and as as you can tell um if you hover over these um scrolls the letters um flash like you're seeing now and um amazon is in, in um probably brazil in south america yeah and let's go to asia first there's a waterfall Nice animation. Um, sometimes when you're on a modern computer with Windows XP, um, um, the animations of um, the clouds and the waterfall will will be like um, frozen. And um, and um, back in um, back in 2002, by the time I had my HP Pavilion 710 CTO PC, um. Um, none of the animations, um, seem to, um, seem to work, um, in this game, but, um, it does work. The animations do work here in Scum VM, unless you, um, run it on a Windows XP PC or, um, on a Windows 95 or 98 or, um, 2000 ME PC, and just, um, tweak the settings to get the background animations running. Uh, excuse me. Oh wow, a hot air balloon. Oh, there it goes. Let's go through here. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, where's the ambient sound? Let's go through here. Now I can hear an ambient sound. The dead. <laughs> what kind of sound is that? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. This is an interesting um jungle in Asia. <laughs> Hmm, let's do this again. Ah, flies. Yeah. There's an elephant coming by. That's a, um, a pitcher plant. That clam is turning into shapes. Still, what kind of noise is that? Whoa, that sound effect was reused from Fatty Bear's birthday surprise. I might do a let's play at that game sometime soon. But, um, hmm. Yeah, okay. We're right here, but, um, I don't hear any ambient sounds now. Because I'm running this game in Scum VM. 
because I'm I'm using a Windows 7 PC. Watch this when you do this. Um, what fish is this? Fighting fish. Coconut crab. Yeah, coconut crab. Watch what happens when you do this. Oh, yeah! <laughs> wow! That's a dragon. Hmm. <laughs> Why does the snake sound like a train now? We're here now. <laughs> hmm, Fuzzy, what do you have to say about this location? That chicken must be lost. This is the jungle, not the farm. Yeah, but, um, there's also, um, one of the junior field trips games called us Explore the Farm. Plus, there's us explore the airport in the Junior Field Trip series. And, um... And, um, I did a Let's Play of these games, um... A while ago. That's a jungle foul. Cinnamon tree. Let's learn about this. A very tasty spice called cinnamon comes from the dried bark of the cinnamon tree. The spice is made from the bark of young cinnamon trees, which is peeled off and bundled into sacks to age. Later, the sacks are removed, and the two parts of the bark are pulled apart. The dark brown outside part of the bark is thrown away, and the pale reddish brown inside is left to dry. As it dries, the bark rolls up into a long tube shape. After the tree bark is done drying, it's cut into short rolls and ground up into cinnamon powder. So, the cinnamon used in baking and cooking is really just tree bark. Yeah, that's amazing. But, um, there aren't any, um, words that um, lead you to different articles here. So... Here's one of the cool things, unlike in uh, other really? two junior field trips games, because um, you can learn, um, you can, um, you will, you can click on the glow to get to know um, where, um, what product it comes from. The cinnamon tree is found in the Southeast Asian jungle. Yes, if you click on that icon, an animated Earth just pops up right here in this picture frame. Hmm, that's an icon, um, that presents, um, that presents itself that, um, this object can be found, um, in all three jungles, like the clear cut. Clear cut. So let's learn about this, too. A clear cut is an area where all the trees have been cut down. People clear cut jungle areas to make room for things like banana or bamboo farms. Sometimes areas are clear-cut so the trees can be used as fuel for homes and factories. But if too much of the jungle is clear-cut, the jungle animals and plants don't have any place to live, and they die. When very few of an animal are left, the animal is called an endangered species. Yes. Also, there's something that I need to show you in this game. Let me go to African elephant. Okay, and um, this endangered icon right here means that um, that uh, when an animal gets endangered, um, um, it gets to have that kind of info. So um, when you click on this icon, um, this endangered logo um gets to be on this image and um. And, um, the info changes to the endangered info. Endangered. So, um, this is the same info that can be, um, seen when you click on an icon on any animals. 
So, let's read this. African elephants are endangered animals. Animals are endangered when there are very few of them left in the world. Many jungle animals are endangered because their homes are destroyed as jungle trees are cut down. If these animals and their homes are not protected, they can become extinct. That means there are none left. Oh, yeah. And right here, this is the more arrow icon. Once you click on it, it gives you um, more info, the article. So, um, this changes to a different icon, but um, on the Asian Elephant article, it doesn't um, change the image. So, um, let's read this now. Africa's elephants are the largest animals on land. Although they are similar, African and Asian elephants look slightly different. African elephants found in the jungle have brown tusks, a curve or dip in their back, and larger ears. African elephants fan themselves with their big ears to keep cool in the hot jungle and to blow away bugs. They can use their long trunk like a hand to pick up food from the jungle floor or pull it off understory trees. Their trunk can also suck up river water, then squirt it into their mouths or onto their backs when they want to take a bath. Yeah. Let's read some more info. Elephants can eat elephants. up to 500 pounds of food a day, so it's a good thing that they eat other things besides grass. Floor leaves, small branches, and fruit in the understory are just some of the other things elephants eat. They only drink water once a day, but then they may drink up to 40 gallons. Oh, they man. have no established home, but wander the jungle looking for food, water, and a good swimming hole. Yeah. Let's head back here. Interesting stuff. Haha! <laughs> That's funny. Uh, let's head underwater. But, um, there's only three places where you can go underwater. Um, I believe. <laughs> of this stone comes from its red color. Rubies were formed in the earth a long time ago from colorless rocks that have another mineral mixed in with them. If the rock then became red, it was a ruby. Otherwise, it became a sapphire. Not only are they beautiful, but rubies are also about as hard as diamonds. People find rubies the same way they find gold, by searching in rivers and caves. Yeah. Let's learn about this. Horseshoe. Horseshoe Crab. Horseshoe Crab. The outer armor of this crab is shaped like a horseshoe. A spiky tail okay. sticking out of the back of their body looks dangerous, but really isn't. Horseshoe crabs crawl along the bottom of shallow rivers, eating clams, worms, and seaweed. Horseshoe crabs have claws on each of their ten legs, instead of the two claws that most crabs have. They also have blue blood, which doctors can use when testing people for some types of illnesses. Okay, let's get out of here. And, um, we're back to the waterfall. Alright, let's go over here. <laughs> Wow. Hmm, what about in here? Oh, a bat. Oh, fine. Um, animals. I didn't mean to do that. Part, we're just gonna explore Africa, so it's time to take a break for now. So, um, that's about it.